Hello, I'm Andreas from Kydex. I would like to show you how to hook up your electrical system with the turbine. So now we have the turbine set up as we showed in the setup guide. And at the bottom we have uh, the tower, uh, the cable coming out for the electricity. And we already have one extension cable plugged into the turbine. And now we'll walk along the cable. And here it's just short enough so we can't really reach the, the power units that we want to connect to. So we'll just add an extra extension cable in this case. It's a simple uh, XT60 connection, it can only go in one way. So we take the ground unit and connect to the turbine. And there's, it can only go in in, in one side uh, the correct way. And then we need to connect the, so we need some input power for the ground box to boot up the turbine. And there on the jaggery, we need the 12 volt uh, cigarette plug. And we have an uh, adapter cable here that we can use. So then, now I'll just turn it on. And it should, um, yeah, now it's, uh, you can see it's a zero uh, watt down here. So it's uh, booting up. So now that it, uh, it's booted up, I can switch the menus. So I'll go to the Wi-Fi screen and long press to turn it on. And then it says the connection detail. So I go to, on my, isn't it like a pull down? Yeah. Go to the Wi-Fi list. <clears throat> and then I can connect to Wind catcher ground, connect. Sign in, I need to, I guess I should take off my gloves. And then we get to the setting screen for the uh, MPPT unit. Um, and in this case, we want to connect it to a jaggery We'll connect it to a uh, power station slash MPPT and it's a Jaggery and it's a 1000 Pro. So I just click this one and then it will pre-configure the uh, parameters for the ground station. And then I'll just press activate settings and here I can see that uh, it was the same settings as uh, before. So now the ground station has been configured. Then we'll, we also need to, um, whoop, I'll just, uh, I can close the Wi-Fi down here again with a long press. Then the, we still need to connect the output of the wind turbine to the jaggery. So on the back side, if we go around, here we have the, the DC input, which is uh, typically used for, for solar, but can also be used with the wind turbine. Connect, and then we take the, the out cable from the box and connect to the jaggery, like this. So the next step is to, uh, to turn on the turbine. And since we uh, powered it up through the ground station, it should create a, a Wi-Fi hotspot called uh, Windcatcher. So I'll go to my uh, Wi-Fi menu. I'll turn Wi-Fi on. And uh, hopefully we should see a list. And we see we have a Windcatcher here that we'll try and connect to. It already remembers the, the password, but the password is more power. In most cases, it will bring you like a sign-in dialog that I clicked, where you can access the menu. And um, it gives you yeah, various uh, system information. But the most important one is that you can press start to start the turbine. The blades will go a little bit closer to each other and then we'll wait for enough wind to start picking up speed, which it does like now. 
And here you can see the amount of power that it's currently generating. So in this case, 25 watts. But it will take a little bit of time for the uh, system to, to sort of uh, connect to the system. So let's check down here. Yeah, so now, now we're producing 60, 60 watt. I guess this one is saying 80 watts. Yes, and here you can see it's uh, producing about 240 watts at the generator. And if you look at the, the Jaggery, it's uh, yeah, reporting 213 or thereabouts. Now the wind dropped a bit. And here you can also yeah, see the various uh, power modes. All right, and uh, when you want to, to pause or, or stop the operation, it's simply just to press the stop button and then the blades will pitch up and the turbine will uh, stop. Cool. Now I want to show you how to connect it to the uh, EcoFlow. And we'll basically repeat the same steps. So we'll put this into Wi-Fi mode, update the settings, move the connections and then charge the EcoFlow. So first we'll turn on the Wi-Fi and I'll connect, connect to the ground station. Again, this is a MPPT power station. This is a EcoFlow Delta 2. And this is the correct setting. So I'll just activate and it'll just wait a bit and it'll update. It can take a few seconds. Uh, now you can see the settings updated. Um, so yeah, now it's uh, ready. And we can leave the, the turbine side in and we'll just uh, plug out the other things. Put it, um, I guess, put it near, near the back. So you can see it. So there on the Delta 2, you have a panel where we can uh, plug the um, ground connection directly into. And they also have a cigarette plug for the 12 volt out. First we turn on the 12 volt and then, well here we don't need to do anything. And now it's uh, essentially ready. So to start the turbine we will connect to wind catcher. Press connect. And press start. And again, it will, so right now the power dropped a bit and it just takes typically 10, 15 seconds before the, the ground station sort of figures out the correct uh, voltage to operate on. Um, but now they sort of synced up and now it can start delivering power. Um, so you can see now it's delivering 130 uh, watts. And if we get a bit more wind, it should, uh, should max out. Now you can hear the winding picking up even more. So yeah, now we are at the max on the generator is about 250. Um, and we can also look at the jaggery and see what it says. Just turn it around. And there you can see it's reporting 210, 20 watts. One of the cool things about uh, the Jaggery, no, the EcoFlow, sorry, the EcoFlow is that it has a pretty powerful um, output. So I will just demonstrate that you can use this uh, yeah, electric cooker. 
And here you simply plug it in on the, the back side as well, actually. So this is a simple, there's even uh, four 220 volt uh, plugs. Just choose one of them and press on. I guess I just had to press in the right, uh, right way. So for now you can actually see that it, uh, it started consuming about 1100 uh, watts. Um, so that's uh, generating a lot of, uh, of nice energy. So that's pretty cool. We are delivering 200 watts into the power station, but we are taking out 1100 watts. And you can uh, use this for, I mean, pretty much uh, anything you, you want. Okay, so last up, I want to show you how to connect it to a, a battery. So first we, we stop the turbine, press stop, and the turbine stopped. So before we uh, connect the battery, I guess we'll just um, access the hotspot again. And here we have a battery system. And this is a lithium ion phosphate battery. It's 12 volt. You can actually charge with uh, 50 amps should be fine with this one. It will automatically limit the, the input, so just ch ch take whatever your battery sort of uh, reports. Now the settings are uh, updated and we can see the correct settings. So now we can connect uh, the output directly to the battery. Um, like so. Yeah, and and when you are running with a battery system, then you don't need to uh, connect this one, basically. So this is just for portable power stations that has a, a solar input. I'll just check what the current uh, setting of the, imp like the unit is. And it is actually already set at uh, battery lithium rec voltage and, and 30, 50 ampere. So in that sense, we are actually ready to, to go. And I can uh, connect to the turbine, so we'll go start. Yeah. Now the, it's spinning up, and as you can see, one of the benefits of the battery is that it can sort of just put juice into the battery right away. There's no, uh, it doesn't need to think or anything like the portable power stations. Yeah. And so one thing is that it does is that the turbine will try and deliver as much power as, uh, as possible and it will still be constrained by the battery. So once it's reached full state of charge, um, the, um, this one will limit the amount of current going into the battery. And this, the turbine will detect this and actually reduce the, the power output. So in that sense, it will sort of automatically balance and, and charge the, the battery in a, in a smart way. And it works with both lithium and uh, lead acid uh, systems. Yes, yeah, so now I just want to explain a bit about the uh, interface of the app. Uh, so first up, we have the current power output, the stop button that you have seen, and there's also a, a state uh, of the turbine. And it might sort of enter a fall state, or it could be that it's too windy and it will be in like a cut-in mode. And here's a brief explanation of what's happening in the current state and your options. Everything is fine. You can press stop to, to, to put it to idle. Um, and also it, it asks you to, to please stop the turbine before taking it down. This is uh, less obvious um, when there's no wind. Then lastly, we have the system information. There's uh, the firmware version on the turbine, but also the hardware of the, in the turbine uh, sort of uh, electronics. There's a button to update the firmware. Lastly, we have some a little bit more in-depth information, the voltage on the bus between the ground converter and the turbine, the temperature of the uh, electronics, the current RPM rotation speed, the pitch of the blades, and lastly, the, the power output.